A question I get asked a lot is how do I get started on my business when I don't have a reputation? So that's what we're going to talk about today. The first thing you need to do if you're going to be building your business without having had any reputation or track record that you can trade on is make sure you've got brand consistency throughout all your platforms. What that means is when, everybody, when anybody comes across you, whether it's your business card or your website or your Facebook or some images or videos or whatever it is you're doing, make sure that they know that the font and the colors and the logo are the same. So therefore, even if they don't read who you are or the name of your company, they can instantly recognize this is that person and we know and trust her well. So that's building a great brand across all your platforms. The second most important thing to do when you're building a business from scratch is to make sure that you have your elevator pitch down pat. That's 30 seconds that you are ready to wrap out as soon as somebody asks you that question of what do you do or what are you doing these days? So whether it's at the networking environment or in the shopping mall, then you're ready with an answer that's gonna make them go, ooh, that sounds brilliant. Good luck with that, or I know somebody who might be interested in that, or can you give me your card? I wanna use you right now. So get that 30 second pitch ready and make it friendly and make it really interesting and go for it. The next most important thing you need to do to start building your business from scratch is to make sure you get your message out there through networking, speaking opportunities, or publishing. So get out there and hustle and make sure people know your name. Go and join the Chamber of Commerce, go and join the Women's Institute, whatever it is, go and network your face off because people can't recommend you if they don't know who you are. Uh, make sure you're looking for opportunities to speak in front of the right people uh, so that you can uh, build your authority as well and publish all the time. Get your blogs out there, get your Twitter out there, get your Facebook going, get your video blogs if you want to and make sure they're properly targeted at the people you really, really want to influence. Number four is you need to make sure people are talking about you. It's called PR, public relations. What you need to do for that is to get, first of all, on social media, lots and lots of engagement. So when you publish anything on social media, you need to get people to like, comment, and share. Because if you don't get that going, then that means you're not doing social media, you're doing broadcast media. And as soon as you get people engaged with you, that means they're now operating as part of your marketing team because everybody else can see, oh, it looks like Jenny has just engaged with that platform. I wonder what's going on there. So get lots of engagement in everything you're doing. Speak to journalists about what you're up to and think of newsworthy stories you can be putting out as much as possible in order to get other people to speak about you. And the final thing, which is really important to build your reputation from scratch, is to actually offer your product or service at a really reduced price to target audience people, to people who you really want to service eventually, not friends and family, to actual potential clients, offer it to them really, really cheap or even for free, if necessary, in order to get those testimonials, in order to get those references, and in order to get those reviews, because they're all important for building your credibility. You can put them up on your website, and if people are on your website looking and thinking about using your service and they see all these great testimonials coming through, job's a good one. Visit finwitchley.com to be part of the movement that we're building to empower women to create the life and business that you deserve. Also, comment down below and let us know what you think about uh, this particular video. Uh, if you've started up in business, let us know what top tip you've got that really, really worked for you and got you going from the beginning. And then if you're thinking about starting up in business, maybe in the next couple of weeks or next couple of months, let us know which one of these five top tips you are definitely going to put into place right now and we'll hold you accountable later. So see you on the next video.